Hello and welcome to another YouTube video for IELTS reading. For today's video, we would be covering the last part of the GT reading that was your Molex Iron. And this is a part 3 of it. Part 3 for GT reading is mostly like academic reading because it will have a single passage that you have to go through and it will have the same nitty gritty that an academic reading has. So this part is also beneficial not only for the GT students but also for the academic students because it will be having all of the tips and tricks or every single thing that you look when you are solving an academic reading and even I will be providing the link for the whole reading and if you are an academic student you can just skip to the third part that is this part and you can practice that for like taking 20 minutes of the time that is mentioned and after that we can go through the passage and check for the answers and see why the answers are coming from this line or that line just check the reasons and justifications for that so let's start with today's reading and before we proceed i would like to remind you once again that yes i have started evaluating task two and i am getting good responses with that but i would be choosing that randomly so i'm not sure if i'm choosing anything this week or the next week but i will be choosing something in the upcoming week for the next week, I have some plan for the grammatical range and accuracy topic because that's where most of the students struggle when it comes to writing task 2. So I will be trying to make a video on that and trying to give you some kinds of tips, I would say, or some kinds of like sentences that you can use while you are writing your task 2 and that is beneficial for you when you are just preparing your exam also so I would be keeping that in mind while doing that and if you are willing to send your writing task to to the email address that I have provided in the community I will also provide the email address in the description of this video so that if you miss to check the community you can just check the description and you can send me the writing in an email attaching it in a scan document or taking clear pictures so that i can go through and read that and apart from that if you like my channel you can subscribe to my channel give my video a thumbs up that will boost me and i will make more and more videos for you it is good to have subscribers and getting likes for any videos that i'm making and i also welcome constructive criticism so if you feel somewhere something is missing you can also mention that in the comments you are always welcome to do that because humans are not perfect so neither am i so let's start with the reading that is paper recycling i will be explaining the reading first and then we will be jumping onto the questions and trying to explain the answers and the justifications for those answers so for today's reading, we have paper recycling. Let's begin. A. Paper is different from other waste produced because it comes from a sustainable resource. Sustainable resource. We have word like we have seen this word in our environmental science or environmental education classes or books that we had to study. It is nothing but sustainable means something that will be available for a long run, for a long term. Like the raw material to make papers will be available for a long term and it can, it can like replenish itself, like it can renew itself, it can regenerate itself. So when we see sustainable resource, and we know paper comes from papyrus, which is a tree or any kind of tree. So paper comes from a tree and that resource that is the tree is sustainable. They can regrow, they can be reproduced and you can use that resource over and over because you are growing trees, cutting trees, using it in the form of paper. Again, you are growing trees, cutting trees and the cycle goes on and on. So, unlike minerals and oil used to make plastic 
metals and metals trees are replaceable so that's what i tried explaining for the first line so you cannot replace a source that gives you minerals and oils because they do not have the same resource as that of a paper and trees they are just like renewable you can get a tree and yeah the cycle the same thing and they are also saying that minerals and oils are used to make plastics and metals so the sources for plastic and metals are non renewable like they are not similar to the trees which is mineral and oil paper is also biodegradable biodegradable means that will be mixed with that environment when they are trying to rot i would use the raw word rot because that's something that we can relate to something that will be rotting naturally and that will be biodegradable so decompose that is another word so if you like to write that down as a part of vocabulary you can use decompose or you can use rot r o t and that gives you the same meaning for biodegradable and you have seen some products that you buy which has the logo for the biodegradable and whenever we are buying the products it gives you some kind of hint that yeah you are supporting something that is biodegradable it is usually like a green logo that has arrows like a triangle and that's what the biodegradable sign is let's move so it does not pose as much threat to the environment when it is discarded so yeah biodegradable so it will rot it will decompose it will be mixed with the soil and bam it's gone it is not like plastic which are like which is non biodegradable they don't rot plastic don't rot even if you burn plastic it will try to shrink but it won't be rotting in a similar manner paper does while out oh sorry while fortified 45 out of every 100 tons of wood fiber used to make paper in australia comes from waste paper the rest comes directly from virgin fiber from forests and plantations tip whenever you go through a reading and you see this out of 100 or this percentage out of that try to make a note that the reverse can be asked in the question like for example you are seeing that 45 out of every 100 tons so try to subtract 45 out of 100 just to see what is remaining after you get the answer as 55 you can just mention that that okay 45% out of 100 is coming from like the australian like they have done a survey so in australia it is coming out from waste paper but 55% that is a rest it is or 55 out of 100 which will be percentage only is coming out from virgin fiber virgin fiber is the fiber that is untouched we use the word virgin so that is coming from the forests and plantations which is untouched and that is just 55 percentage next by world standards this is a good performance since the worldwide average is 33% waste paper so they say that if we compare that with the world with the rest of the world the australian example is really good why because while australia is using 45% of waste paper and 55% of the virgin material rest of the world is only using 33% of the waste paper and if somebody is using 33% of the waste paper it would be 67% that you are taking from virgin fiber that is untouched trees the more you can use the waste paper it will be better because the lesser trees you will be chopping down to do that 
So let's proceed. Governments have encouraged waste paper collection and sorting schemes and at the same time the paper industry has responded by developing new recycling technologies that have paved the way for even greater utilization of used fiber okay long sentence <laughs> so what they are saying is the government has encouraged like in different countries we see different schemes of governments that they have started recently and some countries they are following that since a long time so it is about recollection of the garbage and they have different colors of the garbage bins it is green it is blue and it is black for us in canada it can be the same for different countries i remember while i was in india i used to have a blue garbage bin and a green garbage bin the green was always in the kitchen and the blue was for everything that we can recycle like plastic paper and so on in Canada, it is like green for the same thing, like the kitchen thingy. Blue for the same thing, like recyclable and like what you can recycle. And the black is for anything that is not going in the green or not going in the blue. For example, we have drywalls. We are renovating our basement and we have drywalls. I don't think that drywalls should be recycled. So we just throw the drywalls in the black cart, like the garbage bin, or we call it cart. So we throw that in the black cart and yeah, that is looked after every like bi-weekly or so. So that's how the government is trying and they are trying to encourage people to just help them reduce the waste and try to do the sorting scheme try to do the recycling thing because in calgary i would say there is something like a fee that you need to deposit when you're buying anything like liquid in a plastic jar for example we get milks in milk jug which are made in plastic like made from plastic and there is a fee that that is like included while we are buying that milk Whenever we are done with the milk, the jar is empty, we take that jar, like the plastic jar, back to the bottle depot where we get 25 cents back. So that's a scheme done by the government that, yeah, you're paying for that bottle or jar, but you're getting that back too whenever you are submitting that. So, yay, <laughs> we are doing our work, see? So that's how the schemes are introduced and I was just giving an example okay and what's the next line as a result industry's use of recycled fibers is expected to increase at twice the rate of virgin fiber over the coming years so as a result of this the industry which is using recycled fibers that can or might increase twice the rate of the virgin fiber in the upcoming years so there will be more and more recycled waste materials getting used instead of the virgin fiber so less and less trees would be chopped down which is a good sign b already waste paper constitutes 70 percent of paper used for packaging and advances in the technology required to remove ink from the paper have allowed a higher recycled content in newspaper and writing paper so again they are saying that the waste paper and the percentage of waste paper that is 70 percent of the paper that is used they have something printed on that like paper Whenever you buy something that is wrapped in a paper, mostly like a carton box or something, you will see mostly the printing is on that. There is a photo of that. There is a list of ingredients used to make that package and so on. So these are done when they are printed and printing is done with the help of ink. So yes, there is 
ink in that paper that is tried to be like recycled and they are just giving us example like newspaper writing paper where you can find ink also when you are trying to recycle to achieve the benefits of recycling the community must also contribute so yes the community the government cannot do anything if they do not have the community helping them side by side so let's see the next slide we need to accept a change in the quality of paper products for example stationery may be less white and of a rougher texture so yeah i would say there is a tendency of human being whenever we are buying any kind of notebooks even though it's for rough work we tend to buy something that is totally white in color but if we get something which is off white or a bit yellowish we would say no nah, this is old i'm not buying that and even the same happens when we are printing something we are buying that letter sized paper which we also call a4 sized paper so when we are buying those paper in bulk we tend to buy that white in color reason because white will be getting or white will look better when you are printing something the colors will come out exactly how it is with a bit yellowish tint the colors would be non recognizable sometimes because if you're printing something in blue on a yellowish paper you won't recognize that it is is it like a greener shade or is it kind of a bluish shade or what is that is it due to the paper or the shade itself but until and unless you're doing that you're just printing black and white there should not be something that you need a white paper to print something in black and white so the passage is asking people to settle down for paper which are a little bit rough because in order to make the paper plain it is the virgin fiber that they are using if they are using the waste paper recycling that it will be a bit rougher and less white let's check the next lines there also needs to be support from the community for waste paper collection programs yes not only we sorry not only do we need to make the paper available to collectors but it also needs to be separated into different types and sorted from contaminants such as staples paper clips strings and other miscellaneous items so here they are trying to say that the community should be helping in order like the government should be helped by the community that's what they are trying to say again and not only we should be seeing that yeah i'm just putting all those waste paper in the blue cart but i'm not taking off the staples no nope. i'm not taking off the rubber band no nope. i'm not taking off the like maybe you're not taking off the clip that you have nothing i'm not doing that but i'm just throwing that into the blue cart that's it it is not that simple because removing every single thing that is not biodegradable like they cannot be recycled and made into a paper should be something that we check to so whenever we are throwing the paper we should check that it does not have any staples with it or maybe a tape attached to it rubber bands or elastic bands or clips or maybe string that's what is also mentioned c there are technical limitations to the amount of paper which can be recycled and some paper products cannot be collected for reuse so yes there are something like limitation to the number or number of time a paper can be recycled and some products are there which cannot be reused for example you're using the mask you cannot reuse the mask that's just an example which does not relate with the passage but just for the purpose of example hmm. these includes or these include paper in the form of books permanent records yeah permanent record you should not be doing that photographic paper and paper which is badly contaminated if you get a paper 
that has molds in it like if you put a paper in a damp space like a washroom it is sitting under the maybe the commode seat or whatever in the washroom and then one day you say oh i have a paper in there and it looks a bit of green let's dump that in the blue cart no you cannot do that because it is kind of contaminated with mold or fungus and that does not go straight into the blue bucket or the blue cart it's better if you throw that in the green or the black green is better and again they say that in the form of books if you are throwing the books it won't be like they are not asking you to put books into like directly into the blue cart or books directly sent for recycling they also say something about the permanent records so do not put that for recycling photographic paper they are a bit different from other paper they are a little bit harder and they have a coating so photographic paper should not be also put into the recycling bin next let's see the four most common sources of paper for recycling are factories and retail stores which gather large amounts of packaging material in which goods are delivered so also offices which have unwanted business documents and computer output paper converters and printers and lastly household with discard newspapers and packaging material so here they are trying to say that which are the places where you will get a large number of paper for disposal or for recycling that's just like an example that has been given in the passage the paper manufacturer pays a price for the paper and may also incur the collection cost so again they are also giving what happens and how the paper manufacturer is paying when he is trying to make the paper d once collected that is the paper the paper has to be sorted by hand by people trained to recognize various paper or various types of paper so yeah the sorting has to be done by hand so it is not a machine which will be doing and if you're like i would be quoting the previous passage that if you're adding some staples and what not it will just increase time for the people who are trying to sort that out this is necessary because some types of paper can only be made from particular kinds of recycled fiber the sorted paper then has to be repulped or mixed with water and broken down to its individual fibers this mixture is called stock and may contain a variety or wide variety of contaminating materials particularly if it is made from mixed waste paper which has had little sorting so here they are trying to explain how the paper will be recycled after that is sorted so if you are putting cardboard box or the letter sized paper or something like a newspaper a cardboard package that has ink in it how that will be sorted it might be sorted accordingly like this has ink in it and this does not and again this is a cardboard separate that this is a paper separate that this is a newspaper which is having ink on it so just keep it with the newspaper bundle something like that and they also say that this has to be repulped or mixed with water pulpy is something that is liquidy and that also has some sort of fiber in it and it is not totally liquidy we say that orange pulp by that we mean that we have teeny tiny bits of orange in the orange juice whenever we are drinking so that's what they have tried to say about repulped so it won't be liquid it will have the fiber content in it next this mixture is called stock so they are also giving you the name by which they call that mixture and may contain a wide variety of contaminating materials so 
this material or the pulp that is the stock right now that can have different kinds of materials in it particularly if it is made from mixed waste paper for example you have newspaper you have cardboard you are having some pages like the letter sized pages and you are also having some boxes like packaging boxes and what not and again the sieve which has had little sorting so that has not been sorted fully by anybody so that will be just a mixed bag of everything various machinery is used to remove other materials from the stock so maybe it is something like sieving you get some kind of fibers and other kind of fibers are taken away from that pulp something like that is done by the machinery okay after passing through the repulping process the fibers from printed waste paper are gray in color because of printing ink has soaked into the fiber the individual fibers i have seen this for myself because i used to work with like newspapers a lot and when i was a child i used to just dip the newspaper in water and try to see what happens experimenting in my own world so i have seen during those time that the paper won't be white anymore because it will turn a little dark gray or light gray depending on the ink or amount of ink it had mostly it had black ink on the newspaper so it would be grayish and that tries to let us know that if you are seeing a white paper you are having black print white and black gray that's it this recycled material can only be used in products where the gray color does not matter such as cardboard boxes but if the gray color is not acceptable the fibers must be deinked so deinking means taking off that gray stone from your recycled pulpy thingy that is a paper or what they call as stock so deinking that that is taking off the ink from that not accepted can be if you are making a letter size paper or anything for a book like a paper for book anything like that you won't be accepting that grayish color or gray stone or if you're creating some handmade paper for painting you won't accept that next this involves adding chemicals such as caustic soda or other alkalies soaps and detergents water hardening agents such as calcium chloride frothing agents and bleaching agents so they have named quite a few chemicals in this line so they have named caustic soda or kind of alkalies we have read about them in our chemistry classes so detergent water hardening agent and they have also mentioned like calcium chloride cacl i guess yeah and frothing agents bleaching agent bleaching agents what they do is bleach is something that will take off the pigment from anything you can bleach your hair for example and after bleaching your hair you will be seeing your hair turning into light 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 silver or it can be the lightest gray that's the whitest color so that can be the thing another thing is they have also mentioned for frothing and frothing is nothing but when you get bubbles when you put some kind of detergent water in the soap and you try to mix it with your hand and you get bubbles so that is frothing okay before the recycled fibers can be made into paper they must be refined or treated in such a way that they bond together so before taking that step of refining you should or 
the paper company should check if those paper are bonding together so that they can be made into kind of a separate paper like they bonding between themselves means they can turn into a separate thing like a paper cardboard and whatnot okay most paper products must contain some virgin fiber as well as recycled fibers and unlike glass paper cannot be recycled indefinitely so what they have try to show you a disparity among like not among between these two kinds of product that is glass and paper glass can be recycled over and over and over and over like it is an infinite cycle that the glass can be recycled but for paper it has its lifetime like a longevity i would say it might be recycled for this 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 period of time maybe 50 years Oh, that is way too much. 50 times. Yes, yeah, so maybe 50 times or 20 times, something like that, depending on what kind of paper you have tried to produce. But for glass, it is not the thingy. Most paper is downcycled, which means that the product made from recycled paper is of an inferior quality to the original paper. So paper down cycles means if you had a letter sized paper initially, you printed something, recycled, got something like a grayish paper, you use that as a handmade paper for writing cards to your friends or maybe for writing letters, creating greeting cards, something like that. It was recycled again because when you are creating the greeting card it got mixed with some other colors and now recycling that is trying to make its quality a little bit inferior and then you are creating a cardboard out of that so it is trying to make the quality of the paper inferior every time you are doing that and even when you are adding all those chemicals it will be also downgrading the paper Recycling paper is beneficial in that it saves some of the energy, labor, and capital that goes into producing virgin pulp. So, yes, there is benefits of recycling paper and getting virgin pulp and producing paper from that takes a good amount of energy, labor, and also money. That's capital. Um, that can be reduced if you are recycling the paper. However, recycling requires the use of fossil fuel, a non-renewable source of energy or energy source to collect the waste paper from the community and to process it to produce new paper. So whenever we are recycling it, we are just using fossil fuel, maybe petroleum, maybe coal, and that is non-renewable in the sense once you use it you use it there is nothing looking back and they will take some time for itself to like be in the same form for example coal coal is just pieces of trees and branches that are compressed over time maybe millions of years and then they form into coal so that is non-renewable as of instant it will take really 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 longer time okay. and the recycling process still creates emissions which require treatment before they can be disposed of safely so yeah there are some emissions and they should be disposed or if you are dis like throwing them away it should be done in a safe process nevertheless paper recycling is an important economical and environmental practice but one must be carried out in a rational and viable manner for it to be useful for both industry and community this was a good reading indeed because it gives you a lesson at the end and that says that yeah no doubtedly recycling is important but 
it should be done rationally which means there should be brain that is working logically with the reason when we are doing that and viable manner which means we should be able to see that it is workable like if i'm recycling something that should not be recycled anymore i should not be wasting the energy and everything with recycling something that would be waste so viable like it is feasible it will be workable like we can use that again something like that so we are done with the passage yes and then we will be getting the questions so let's start with the questions and see the justifications for the answers let's start with the next questions question 30 to 36 complete the summary below of the first two paragraphs of reading passage choose one or two words that is in bold which means you cannot go more than two from the reading passage for each answer write your answers in boxes 30 to 36 on your answer sheet okay and never ever skip the example that is the biggest drawback if you're skipping the example in reading examples will let you know from where they are getting the passage sometimes it will let you know what is coming like next in few lines in listening examples will let you know what exactly to look for and what will be the next questions coming from which area it would be coming so it is really good to use the example for your benefit treat example as your best friend it is helping you in the exam to locate the para right so that is really good never skip the example that can be a very good tip summary from the point of view of recycling paper has two advantages over minerals and dash so example is oil and we found that in let me just take those off so we found that in here oil used or oil next question in that firstly it comes from a resource which is dash so paper comes from a resource which is let's go back to the passage papers comes from a resource that is sustainable or you can even say replaceable 31 so and secondly it is less threatening to our environment when we throw it away because it is dash so when we have a lot of waste paper so discarded means thrown away so paper is also biodegradable so it does not pose as much threat to the environment when it is discarded are the exact lines that this secondly it is less threatening to our environment when we throw it away because it is biodegradable that will be the answer although Australia's record in the reuse of waste paper is good it is still necessary to use a combination of recycled fiber and and we saw that there is a percentage of something so while 45 out of every hundred tons of wood fiber used to make paper in Australia comes from waste paper the rest comes directly from so the answer would be virgin fiber in this case or you can even say pulp in this case but virgin fiber is better because you are getting everything in this line i would stick to virgin fiber to be honest okay let's move to 32 or 33 i would say we just did 32 the paper industry has contributed positively and people have also been encouraged by dash we have seen the line saying government 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 so let's move to the following like the next lines and see where exactly we can find government i can see government in here governments have encouraged waste paper collection so the answer can be governments or the government next question one major difficulty is the removal of ink from used paper but dash are being made in this area so what is being made in this area when it comes to removal of ink let's go back and check i can see ink in these lines 
So I will just mark them like that. So if you see removal of ink and then I can see advances in the technology required to remove ink from the paper have allowed a higher recycled paper, recycled content in newsprint and writing paper. So there we can see that and I just tried to zoom out for some reasons. I don't know why. Sorry about that. Just, yeah. So we can see in this passage if you can see advances in technology has already helped or eased the process of removing the ink from the paper. Next question. However, we need to learn to accept paper which is generally of a lower, we were reading something about off-white and not smooth. So let's go to that part and I can see the lines in here regarding rougher texture or less white. So let's see where we get the actual line. We can see here that we need to accept a change in the quality of paper products. So here there is less white rougher texture means it is of a lower quality and for that the answer will be quality than before than before means yeah less white than before it was more white rougher texture it was smooth before and to sort our waste paper by removing dash before discarding it for collection and what did we read on that so let's go back to the passage so we saw in these lines that not only we need to make papers available but it also needs to be separated into different types sorted from contaminants so this contaminants would be the answer and such as this 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 and the list goes on so the answer would be contaminants and contaminant by the way can be anything contaminant whatever is making the paper hard to be recycled will can be in the contaminants so for paper it can be staples it can be mold like anything that is making the paper impure in this the examples are given mostly we have staples and so on so those are the contaminants let's move to 37 to 41 and yeah this has 41 questions and don't be discouraged with that because in example you will have 40 questions for sure so practicing one more question will just help you to see different types of questions that you can get in the exam it is just like getting an extra thing where you can get an extra experience okay so and it will be challenging too because you have the limited time in which you have to do 41 question so that will be acting as a benefit when you are appearing for your exam because you will be taking lesser time Question 37 to 41, look at the paragraph C, D, E and using the information in the passage, complete the flow chart below. Write your answer in boxes 37 to 41 on your answer sheet. Use one or two words. So again, the limitation is there for each answer. So it will be only seen in paragraphs C, D and E. Waste paper collected from and now there is a list that we saw while reading. So they are saying factories, retail store, dash, paper converters and printers, households. So let's go back. And in the C, we saw different types of like sources. So here you can see sources of paper recycling and it goes until that part. And I hope I did not mark all through them. Let me see that. Okay. 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 So let's check that. I'm sorry for my tablet. Hmm. 
It is just behaving when you don't want that to behave like that. So four most common sources of paper. Let's mark that. Printers, household, newspaper, and there. So we saw one of them as factories. One was retail stores. So we can cross them out. So recycling our factories, cross them out. Retail store, cross them out. Next, dash, paper converter and printer household. So let's check for, there is offices though. And then you will be seeing computer output, paper converters, printers. And lastly, households. So offices is missing from the flowchart. And this will be having offices as the answer so let's move to the next the paper is then dash so what happens to the paper that is collected we were reading something that is something is done manually so let's go back and see what happens once the paper is collected what is done the paper is sorted or the paper has to be sorted by hand by people so the answer for the question that is the paper is then sorted and dash by adding water so we read something about repulping pulping and also stock so let's see the sorted paper you can see in here then has to be repulped are mixed with water mixed with water is three words so repulp is better let's move to the next question chemicals are added in order to dash chemicals were added to whiten the paper take off the ink de ink that we read let's go down and check if we can see that so we can see something about chemicals in these lines so you can see this recycled material can only be used in products where the gray color does not matter, this, this, this. And the fiber must be de-inked that you can see there. Or it can be like in the example, you can see removing ink instead of like you can write removing ink instead of de-inking. That can also be the answer and also making white can also be the answer. But de-inked, I'm getting that just in front of me. I would choose de-inked. But you can write anything in exam. I have seen reading and listening. They have different options that the examiners know. And sometimes if you are following the criteria and getting that word from the passage, which denotes why, like the reason why you are using that, you get the mark for that so there is no hard and fast rule that i'm selecting this and you have to do that you should be writing what is proper what is like you can see that on the passage from the passage and you feel that is the only word you're following the criteria and that's it next the fibers are then dash so the fibers are then let's check what happens after that before the recycle let's check these lines before the recycled fibers can be made into paper they must be refined so refined is the word that we are looking for in question 41 as the answer so we are done with the last part of the GT reading your Molex iron and if you watch three of the videos you will get the continuation of each part if you are practicing the reading for your examination all the best and I will be providing the link again in the description for the reading that you can practice from and also the answer key for the last part I will be providing the link like my email address where you can send your task due for writing and I will be happy to check them and if that is good and I can see that I'm getting good responses I can upload a video on how am I checking that and what is checked during the exam so you can get a reference of that and that being said if you like the video please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel hit that bell button on my channel and 
you want to share this video, you can go ahead and share that among your friends. It will be fun if we are getting good responses so that I can bring more and more IELTS regarding videos. And I am hoping to make one on writing. And I hope to see you soon. Thank you so much and all the best for all those who are appearing for your examination soon.